Hello everybody, this is um, me going to downgrade. Um, I made a video earlier about this, and this is the video response. Basically, I've got all my drivers here, thanks to uh, HP, I got my graphics, uh, I got my ethernet, I gotta change the battery in this video camera in a second, I got my audio, and I have my chipset. So, this is probably going to be more than two videos posted together because the battery is, like, about to die. But, there's my recycle bin. I've got nothing on my computer right now. All I have is all my files. I backed up my files. I used two flash drives. One is a nice 4 gig. Well, this is a 2 gigabyte, but I have a nice 4 gigabyte hard drive. Or not hard drive, flash drive. This is a nice 4 gig flash. Held most of my stuff on it. Um, basically, a few pointers for anybody who wants to downgrade from Vista to XP. Get your drivers. Burn them to CD first, because if you don't get your drivers, you don't burn them to CD, you're not, you're going to have the same exact problem as I had. Um, I had recently done this before, and it didn't work because I had no drivers installed, so get your drivers, burn them to CD, downgrade, then install. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change batteries on this uh, video camera, and yeah, so, yeah. Okay, I've changed batteries. Now, what I was saying was, um, you always want to get your drivers first before you even think of downgrading. And I've got a crap load of operating systems here. What I was thinking of doing was actually, instead of putting on my XP Home Edition with the service pack, <coughs> I could put React OS on there. I might not be able to. I could put Ubuntu on there. Again, I might not be able to. And I have Windows Vista Ultimate with. Oh, that's my friend's copy, but I have Windows Vista Ultimate. Doesn't need a key. It's already pre. I guess you'd say pre keyed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the problem with this before. Was the last time I tried to do this about a month ago? Um, I didn't have the drivers installed, so obviously it would not run. I could, I had no Ethernet driver installed, so obviously I could not go on the internet to get the drivers. Um, so you want to see my recycle bin? I bet. <laughs> and I did this last time. It's all the same stuff. I know I made a video. Actually, I probably didn't. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to empty it because I don't need these 82 items anymore. 717 items were deleted. Okay. Now, basically, I'm going to put... I'm going to insert the Windows XP CD into the um, CD drive. Get over to my ROM drive here. Insert the CD. See? Not do anything. Uh, now, I'm going to go to start. And this is one of the reasons why. I'm going to shut it down. You have to shut it down in order for it to work. But this is one of the reasons why I want to downgrade. Um, is because of how long it takes to shut down. It's really annoying. Look at this. Logging off. Shutting down, and like five minutes from now, it'll be shut down. I have to make a few of these videos, might be two video responses, possibly three. Um, I'm already on almost three minutes of video here. YouTube only allows eight minutes. Well, actually, it only allows like nine or ten. Now it's shut down. I'm going to go ahead start it back up oh and you guys haven't seen the inside of my computer yet 
have you. Um, yeah, this, playing on getting a laptop here one of these days and this piece of junk, um, it's going to stay out here where it is now. Now, the other reason why I want to, uh, downgrade is because with Vista, you need two gigabytes. Originally, I was going to upgrade to a gaming computer, um, RAM, but I didn't feel like it because I didn't have the money. It's about four gigabytes, but like I said, I didn't have any money. <clears throat> Alright, so turn off the light and you can watch my computer boot up. See how slow it is. But obviously, it's not going to boot up uh, on Vista. It says press any key to boot from CD. So I just pressed any key. I might have to change. Well, this video camera is somewhat defective. Uh, I have to send it back. Alright, press F6 if you want to install, set up as loading, files. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And, like I said, it's probably going to be many separate videos put together. I'm going to go ahead and stop it, save the battery. And when it's past loading, I will continue. Okay, I'm back. Now it says... Uh, welcome to set up this portion of the setup program. Prepares Microsoft. Blah blah blah. Just have blah blah blah. Press blah blah blah. <laughs> Step one of this XP now. Press enter. So enter. It's examining. Uh, of course, I'm gonna agree to that. And let's. Uh, I don't know. Huh, I don't know which is which. So the I well says that that right there is my factory image. So let's delete this partition. Uh, yeah. I hope to God that was not my. I hope to God that was my operating system there. Yeah, it was. Alright. So, on partition, we want to use NTFS. I'm multitasking here. One hand is on the video camera, sorry for the shakes. And the other hand is on the keyboard. We want, we do not want to do the quick thing. Sorry, the quick way. So, setup is formatting. It's on zero. Oh. Format partition and disk may be damaged. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh well, I gotta pick a different partition. Um, I want to install it on this one. Hoping that it lets me. I will probably have to go into my device manager, or disk manager rather, and delete some of the partition on here. I need to keep my Windows Vista backup drive, even though I don't want to. It's got to be done. I don't know what I did. I actually probably don't have to. I'm not sure. I'd have to. Um, I think when it installs Vista, it installs the drive. Um, I'm not the person to ask. Okay, there it goes. Windows is formatting. Anyways, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to come back. Um, this will most likely be two or three video responses, um, but I'm not the person to ask if, um, you can delete your F drive or, not your F drive, whatever drive.